Kent, look, there's a gap. We just have to lift it a little bit, and then we can slip through. For heaven's sake, Faye, don't you see all the dead insects? It's an electric fence, so don't you touch it. Please be careful, will you? The way is clear. Salvador? Looks like we're too late. He can't have gone far. Wait, we can't just storm in there. This place is heavily guarded. Salvador found a way or he would still be here. Or he didn't. Salvador must have spent days here. I hope the guards haven't caught him already. Or the other way around. Nothing. Not even a sleeping bag. Nigel had such binoculars too. If I remember correctly, you have to adjust the focus and select the area you want to inspect more closely. Then you can use the buttons on the right side to zoom in and out. It was also possible somehow to make and read notes. Looks like there's a note already. Log 1, 2230. The target is a fortress. There must be security gaps. I just haven't found them yet. We'll systematically analyze the area and document findings in code. I'll get in there somehow. Salvador made notes on the binoculars rim that refer to this field. I should take a closer look. Yes, Salvador left a voice message about this area and he jotted down some values too. I must analyze this thoroughly. Maybe that way I can reconstruct his course of action. Salvador made a note here. All access points are within line of sight of the watchtower. The pipes are sealed. Impossible to gain entry that way. Log 2, 0142, a processing plant. Close to the jungle, but fenced in. Only a few hiding places. The watchtower is another problem. I'll take a closer look at it. Maybe it's just there for deterrence. Log 3, 0446. The watchtower is a problem. Guards are patrolling the inner areas. One patrol starts at the garage, passes the heliport on their left, and ends at the bridge. I should take a look at the vehicles they have to pass on their way. Maybe I can ambush them there. The guards have permanent radio contact with each other. The tower is manned around the clock. The access point is too high and steep. They'd spot me long before I made it to the top. Log 4. 0712, Emilio Indes arrived in a boat, followed him past the garage to the main building, the buildings intersect, and that's where he has his office. Indes and an assistant arrived in two boats. The heliport guards watch all boats. Log 5, 0949. I finally found a way into the main building. 
A pipe system leads all the way to the reactor. It passes both cooling towers and the processing plant and ends in a small building that protrudes over the fence and can be accessed from the jungle. A path leads to a door in the back. That must be it. I found him! Where is he? He found the back entrance. Come on, I'll show you. Locked? Or barricaded. Maybe Salvador doesn't want us to follow him. He can be a bit difficult. Whatever, we have to get in there. Let's try climbing through the pipe. You can do that one without me. After all the climbing I did in the lab, my back won't take it anymore. Fine. I'm going to look for a way to open the door from the other side then. See you. Be careful. The bridge undocked from the platform. The bridge is docked to the platform.
I did it! Finally, what did you do in there? Don't whine, let's go. Salvador can't be far. That was Salvador. Kill him on! Shh, someone's coming. Damn it, Kellerman, where are you? I am here, sir. And I brought a visitor. Duva. Bent. <laughs> Svensson Jr. What do you want, Duva? Are you here to get your money? Or are you here for your accursed magic vegetable? You have no right to our research, Indes. Quite the opposite. I consider it my duty to rid the world of this green slime. And since I am not only diligent, but also very thorough, I will dispose of its creators as well. That's my cue, right? Yes. Take them to the other prisoners and kill them. And scour the building! Duva is here. His old man and that crazy climate activist won't be far either. Meanwhile, I'll enjoy an algae tea in my office. Bent? They will kill him. No, they won't. Not on my watch. I think you overestimate yourself. No, listen to me. The algae in our future was developed by you and Duva. If Duva had died today, the algae wouldn't have existed in the future, and we wouldn't have been able to travel to the past. The timeline would have changed drastically. So much so, in fact, that I would disintegrate. I don't understand. Does this mean we can't keep the reactor accident from happening? No, but if we do, I will... I will disappear. You don't have to understand that right now. You just have to trust me when I tell you that you will save your son. Hmm. Okay. I'll trust you then. I think. Good. Meanwhile, I'll take care of the algae. Let's go. Take care, Faye. You too. I don't want to be disturbed for half an hour. I have to decide on the future of the bioenergy of the planet. And please, turn up the air conditioner. Of course, sir. The algae is in the room above me, together with Indes. I have to lure him out somehow. 